Here's the three pillars for any kind of proactive marketing, whether it's Facebook ads, whether it's direct mail, door hangers, yard signs, whatever it is, door knocking, networking. Here's the deal. The first pillar, okay, the three simple pillars of all marketing, the first pillar is hyper-targeting. You have to acknowledge that not all customers are created equal. And I think we already know this, but here's, here's what I want to challenge you with. Look at how you're marketing your company right now. And are you laser focused on the exact people you want to serve or are you more broad? Are you a brain surgeon or are you a general practitioner? If you want to serve super ultra luxury homes for premium pricing, then every part of your messaging on your website, on your Facebook page, on your emails, everything should look, smell, feel, and taste exactly like a company that is the brain surgeon luxury, you know, uh, high priced homes brand, right? You want to target the right people. If your target market is soccer moms, you want to target them. I remember in the first couple years of my business, I had some of the most nightmarish customers you could ever imagine. And these were clients from hell. Terrible, terrible, mean, rotten people that would treat me like garbage. And I was doing it for next to nothing. And I had an epiphany one day. And the epiphany was that I had attracted them to me. Everything about how I did business smelled like a company that should be treated like I was being treated, that should be beat up on their price when they're already half the price of the other person. <laughs> and me and my ignorance, I would accommodate that early on. And I changed everything for me when I got really disciplined about only marketing to the right people. Hyper-targeting means, are you, are you using demographical information to find uh, the homes that have a certain household income? Do they have a certain home type? You know, different neighborhoods in your community have different types of people. Do you clean for retirees? Do you clean for like the 32-year-old attorney with the trophy wife? Is it like that guy? They, where they buy way more stuff than they can afford so they look cool? Is that your client? Is it the soccer mom? Who is it that is your perfect customer? Where are they? And how can we proactively get our message in front of them? How you get it in front of them, totally up to you. But how do you get your clear message in front of the exact right person? That's number one. If you're not hyper-targeting, you're gonna your marketing will not work even close to as good as if you are. The second pillar is personalization. Now, I, I often ask people, I say, uh, what is every human's favorite word in the whole world? So I'll ask you that. What's everybody's favorite word? It's their own name. <laughs> That's their favorite word. We love ourselves. You love yourself. Even people that don't love themselves, they're like, well, no, Josh, you know, I'm, I'm humble and I'm here to serve. And even people that say that sincerely, trust me, they still really, really like themselves a lot. We like what we like. We like the music that we like. We like to eat the food that we want. We want to live where we want. We want our house to be a certain way, to smell a certain way. We want the sheets in our bed straightened out a certain way. We want our shirts folded a certain way. People are, our whole world is about us. Everything we do is in an effort to serve us. And even people that want to serve their family, they still it's about them because they want to serve their family so that they're the kind of person that serves their family, which makes them have increased status. So what does this have to do with marketing? Well, it means that your messaging, when you're hyper-targeting the right people, needs to be personalized to their world. For example, when we would do postcards, we had these insane postcards that converted at crazy rates for years and years and years. And they were so simple. But what we would do is we would target just the lakefront homeowners on a certain lake, for example. And on the cards, we would reference the name of that lake. We'd say, you know, Lake Fenton homeowners, you know, window cleaning special for Lake Fenton waterfront homeowners. And we'd only send that message to those people. And there might be a gated subdivision on a golf course on the other side of town. We'd have a different card for them. So we're hyper-targeting the right people that have the money that need our services, but we're personalizing the card by referencing their house, their situation, right? The fact that they have kids, the fact that they have pets, the fact that they are retired, the fact that they are a soccer mom or whatever. You want to personalize things as much as possible. One of the really cool things that Send Jim does is it allows you to use your phone and you can take a picture of a house from the street. Then you can push a button and it will mail that house a postcard with a picture of their own house on the front of the postcard. Another thing you can do is you can take a picture of the subdivision entryway 
or the street sign, you know, uh, Thomas Street or something. And you can take that picture and put it on a postcard that gets sent to just that entire neighborhood or just the lakefront homes in that neighborhood. You can click some buttons and it says that. And what is what it does for you as a marketer, as a small business owner, is it gives it sends a hyper-targeted, personalized message to your perfect customer, which is insane, right? But again, this isn't about Send Gym, our software. This works with anything you wanna do. You wanna hyper-target and you wanna personalize it. And you can even do this with Facebook ads, believe it or not, because you can geo-target down to, I think, a mile radius. You just gotta get your messaging right so that the person reading it feels like you are in their head living in their world. The third pillar to all marketing is multi-touch. You know, people have the attention span of like a goldfish. I'm, heard, I'm sure you've heard it said, right? People have attention span of eight seconds or 12 seconds or so I've heard three seconds. Who knows what it is? I think it's just self-evident and obvious at this point that it's short. We don't have a big attention span because we're all being marketed to relentlessly. The noise is loud. And when you're marketing to your local market, I want you to understand something. You're not saying, hey, 10% off cleaning service, sign up now. You're not saying your message to like an auditorium of people like watching you present. That's not what it is. And so what happens is sometimes we do some marketing, we do a little bit of this, we'll try some postcards, we'll do some door hang, we'll do something, we'll dabble with something and then nothing happens. And so we get discouraged, we take it personally, we think we're dumb or our market's different. Josh, you don't understand, the employees here, they're different, the, the customers, here are different. They're cheap. They won't pay that price, Josh. I can promise you with certainty that you're wrong when when you think that. And if that upsets you, I'm super sorry. I think you're awesome. I'm sure we'd be friends. But I'm telling you, you're wrong. I've personally worked with over a thousand, over a thousand. I'm not talking worked with like doing a webinar or a, or a teaching like this. I mean, on the phone working with them. Over a thousand businesses just like yours. And it's always wrong when people think their market's different. They're not following the fundamental principles that they need to succeed. They're not hyper-targeting. They're not personalizing their message. And they're not doing step three, which is getting in front of them multiple times. Again, when when you're saying, hire me, hire me, hire me, you're not talking to a room full of people staring at you. It's more like you're talking to a parade of people walking by you. Imagine there's a parade and there's 5,000 people walking and they're looking they're looking that way and they're moving and you're on the sidewalk like, hey, 10% off your maid service, highest quality. We t- have great customer service. Like you're saying all these things that everyone says. It's all white noise. Nobody cares. It's, they're numb to it. And even if they did like what you were saying, you only say it once. And that's the biggest problem. Once you've identified who you need to hyper-target, once you've figured out how to personalize your message to those people, you need to stay in front of them over and over and over and over. When you do this, you will create a lever. And when you create a lever, you can put $1 in the top and have seven or 10 or $15 come out the bottom over and over. And depending on the size of your market, you could scale that up to a one or two or $3 million business in a few years Uh, especially if you're an aggressive go-getter that loves systems.